In this series, I covered the maximum core population of every single country that exists in Hearts of Iron 4. And today's letter is letter E. And if you remember that meme, you are an OG. Our first country today is Ecuador. Ecuador starts by coring and owning the states of Ecuador, Pastaza, and Galapagos Islands, with a core population of 2.08 million people. If Peru attacks Ecuador, and if Ecuador wins, they can also own and core the state of Loreto. However, to get their maximum possible cores, they have to revive Bolivar's legacy. This will get them to core on Loreto anyway. And on top of that, they're gonna core all of Colombia, Venezuela, British Guyana, Panama, and Curaçao increasing their maximum core population to 14.31 million people. Our next country is nearby El Salvador. El Salvador starts with a core population of 1.43 million people, almost double of the neighboring Honduras. To get the maximum possible cores, they have to reconstitute the Federal Republic. After each, they have to incorporate Panama and also Republic of Yucatan, which will get the cores in all of these states with a maximum core population of 6.26 million people. Yep, I remember that one as well. Our next country is Emirate of Harar. This is the only country in the game which has the word Emirate at the start, by default. They have a core in the state of Harar in Ethiopia, which is the second most populated state in Ethiopia. And I'm gonna skip them for now, and uh, you'll see why in a moment. The next country is everyone's favorite, Equatorial Guinea. They start by core in the state of Equatorial Guinea, with a core population of about 185,000 people. This makes them second least populated country in Africa, only having more population than Western Sahara. Equatorial Guinea cannot get any extra cores, and yes, I've tested it, even with the Africa decolonized, they don't get Sao Tome and Principe, and for some reason nobody even gets it, like, it stays the part of Portugal. I guess Paradox just forgot about the state. Anyway, their maximum core population is 185,000 people. Our next country is another African nation, and that is Eritrea. Eritrea starts by coring the state of Eritrea with about 600,000 people. They also claim the state of Tigray, but they don't core it. To get their maximum possible cores, they have to click on Unify the Horn of Africa decision. This will change their cosmetic tag and give them cores in all of these states. If they conquer Socotra, they're gonna core the state of Socotra. Corking the Upper Nile will give them cores on the states of uh, Upper Nile and Blue Nile. And finally, Integrate the Southern Territories will give them cores on Kenya and Uganda. At the end of the day, they're gonna core all of these states with a maximum core population of 21.94 million people. Our next country is Estonia. Estonia starts with a core population of 1.1 million people, spread around in five states. First things first, Estonia can unify the Baltics through decision, like any other Baltic country. Now there's two main paths that Estonia can take. Either going for Estonia and Scandinavia, which will give them ability to form Scandinavia, like any other Scandinavian country, or unite the Finnic identity focus. The Finnic identity is definitely worse one, because they just get to core stuff into northern Russia, and also Finland. A land way less desirable than Sweden or Norway, except that's not true. They can annex Finland, and they can also core all Finnish cores. For Finland to get all of its cores, Denmark would have to restore the North Sea Empire. Also, let's not forget, if Iceland goes for the Viking path, they'll be able to core Shetland Islands, as well as the Newfoundland and St. Pierre and Mikion. And if Denmark would also go for the right-wing path, they'll be able to core all of Iceland cores, through develop Island focus. Also, let's not forget that Denmark could core all of these German states from the Greater Denmark event. In the meantime, Finland could go fascist and go for the Finnish supremacy in the North path. And if Finland manages to get Norway, Denmark and Sweden in their faction, they'll be able to finish keepers in the North, which will get them to annex these countries. On top of that, they're gonna core all of their cores. After this, if Estonia goes for United Nations, they'll be able to annex Finland. And after that, proclaiming Finno Ugra will give them cores on all of Finland's cores. And after all that, they can finish United Finnic Identity Focus, which is gonna give them maximum core population. At the end of the day, they're gonna core all of these states with a maximum core population of 77.62 million people. To get the maximum possible cores in Ethiopia, you have to go for the African Union. Through African Union, you can core all of these states. And no, you don't have to play until 9080 to do this. I literally did it in 9042. If you're either fascist or non-aligned as Ethiopia, and if you own this state, for 50 political power, you can make Jerusalem the capital of the empire. Just make Jerusalem your capital, also makes it a 10 victory point city, and also gives you core in this state. Which means that the maximum core population of Ethiopia is 151.1 million people. And let's finally get back to Emirate of Harar. To get their maximum possible cores, you basically have to get Ethiopia to get all of these cores. After that, you have to conquer Ethiopia, and you have to finish crowning of the Nagusa Nagant focus. This will give you cores on all of Ethiopia's cores, and Ethiopia is gonna lose cores on all of the states they cored. And maximum core population, once again, is 151.1 million people. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one, where I'm gonna cover the letter F. And, uh, bye.